I'm going to demonstrate something for you. Hey, Neeson, you got some money for me? Ah, all right, $6. Okay, you gave me $6, so I'm going to give you back two. Seems fair, right? Someone's giving me $6, I just give them two bucks back, right? Well, what I'm getting at here is how the process of turning protein into sugar works, okay? Specifically, when we're talking about the ketogenic diet and gluconeogenesis. Everyone out there is afraid that extra protein is going to kick them out of keto and you're gonna ruin everything. Well, I'm gonna flip that on its head and explain to you why gluconeogenesis and the process of turning protein into carbohydrates actually helps you lose weight. Hey, you're tuned into the internet's leading performance, nutrition, and fat loss channel. New videos every single Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday at 7 a.m. Pacific time, and a bunch of other videos throughout the week as well. Please hit that little subscribe button so you know whenever I'm posting videos, but also hit that bell button so you never miss any beats at all. That way you can always be here with my live broadcast, and heck, you might even get $2. Now, if you like good quality meat, then you're gonna to wanna to check out ButcherBox after you watch this video. So you have a special link down in the description that gets anyone that's watching this video or anyone that's a fan of mine a special discounted price on high quality grass-fed, grass-finished meat, but also pasture-raised chicken and good quality wild-caught fish as well. So it's all down below in the description, and guess what, it's cheaper than the grocery store. So big thank you to them, make sure you check them out. But first, let's watch this video. All right, so what the heck is going on? What am I talking about here? Gluconeogenesis is something very simple, okay? It's the process in which your body takes protein and converts them into carbohydrates. And it has a lot of people running for their lives scared that eating too much protein is gonna kick them out of keto. And I've addressed that in another video, but I wanna explain how it actually helps you burn more fat. And this is something that I've learned recently, and I'm a believer in now because I wasn't even a believer in this a year ago. Okay, it's simple, the process, of creating carbohydrates from protein is metabolically very expensive. So what that means is on average, we burn four or 500 calories per day just converting protein into carbohydrates. It's a metabolically expensive process. That's a good thing. So here's where the $6 and $2 thing comes into play. Okay, it costs six ATP. ATP is energy. So in this case, it's currency. It's energy currency. It costs us six ATP to turn protein into a carbohydrate. That carbohydrate then only yields two ATP through a form of glycolysis. Simply put, all that means is that we spend six units of energy converting a protein to a carb which ultimately only gets us two units of energy. We have a net loss of four ATP. So when Neeson gave me $6 and I gave him two back, he walked away with $4 less in his pocket than he did when he came to me. So he had a net loss, okay? That's the same way gluconeogenesis works. We actually pay more energy money to create a carbohydrate from protein than we actually get in return. So go for it, take that protein and convert it because that's basically four units of ATP that's running on a treadmill inside my body that I never have to lift a foot over. It's just burning up energy, burning fat, burning calories. Gluconeogenesis is not bad. But let me add one more thing. It's demand driven and you're only gonna use it when you need it. So don't freak out about it, embrace it. It's inefficient and it's inefficiency that drives the totally messed up economy of our insides, which helps us burn fat. So as always, keep it locked in here on my channel. If you have ideas for future videos, you know where to put them.